Okay, as you see, what we got here is the Barney Rubble Flintstone Power Supply. No, I'm kidding. Um, this is the original Spalding Power Box, aka the toaster. Um, I've been asked, this, I just had to get this out of the way. Someone's been asking me about building power supplies. Like I said on my other power supply video, I told you I could help you build your own. There's a gentleman, uh, I think in Mexico, who shows you how to build one. Um, like in a, put all the parts into like a skull or toast uh, lunch boxes and shit. So basically what I'm going to do is show you how the parts go together. That's the one thing he doesn't show. Basically, like I say, there it's like the old Spalding unit. And basically this is all that's inside of it. Now these parts are fucking ancient. What you have here, two 1000 microfarad capacitors. This is a 2200, so this, nowadays, this is bigger than both of those put together. So, and this nowadays is probably the third of that size. This is a 25 volt transformer, way bigger than you need. So you just get a 17 volt transformer, 2 amp, you need, as you can see here, this thing right here. which you call a uh, bridge rectifier and, and what else you got this thing right here isn't even used anymore this is a what's called a filter rectifier not even used anymore I mean that's how old it is basically all they do now is you take the uh, large capacitor that steps down to a 100 microfarad capacitor which then steps down to a 10 and then a one and it just breaks filters it down uh, as far as the diagrams I'll post some links to different diagrams anybody wants to knows how to read electrical diagrams and can solder if you want to build your own uh, basically as you see power cord comes in one leg attaches to the transformer one leg goes up to the fuse connector Okay, that's something else you're going to need, a fuse holder. The other side of the fuse holder goes over to the switch, the on off switch, and then on the other side of the switch is the other leg going to the transformer. So when you read diagrams, a lot of diagrams don't show the fuse and the switch. They just show the transformer and from there on. But this is what you got to do first. And of course you got your ground going to the body. So one leg, one ground, the other leg to the fuse, to the switch, from the switch to the transformer. So then you got your transformer, positive and negative leg up here, which go to the positive and negative of the bridge rectifier, which is basically four diodes put together. It has a positive and negative side, positive and negative. As you see on the bottom of this little PC bridge here, they're just put in series and soldered together. Uh, basically what you would have to understand is that these are being replaced by a single as opposed to these two stupid things going in series. It would just go transformer, bridge rectifier, positive negative would just keep going right along onto the big. This is a 2200. You want to use something like 2200 to 3100. Uh, make sure it's like a 35 volt. As long as the voltage on the capacitor is bigger than the voltage on the transformer, you won't blow anything else. So 35 volts is plenty good because you're probably going to use a 17 volt transformer. So then it goes from the big capacitor down to a 100 capacitor, which then steps down to a number of different ways. Now you, this is called a potometer. It's an old school way of controlling. It's a real stat. Actually, yeah, the potometer is the other one. This is a old school part. What it is is it uses resistance to control the power that goes in and out of the component. Now, if you use if you can get a real stat, then you don't need to do extra soldering and using uh, other components like uh, resistors. 
So basically all it does is it goes from the big capacitor to the 100, then it's, you'll have one leg. Like I said, it goes in a series. You have a positive and negative. Here's a negative, here's a positive. One splits off to the foot pedal, one splits off to one side of the reel stat. The other leg of the reel stat goes to the clip cord, and then the other leg on the clip cord goes to the foot switch, and in between the foot switch and the clip cord is a one microfarad capacitor. So it steps all the way down to a one. Someone put a point one, but it just steps down. Now, if you don't use a real stat, uh, you can use a potometer, which is a little black knob looking thing. It looks kind of like this, but it's a little black knob on most power supplies nowadays. That doesn't have resistance built into it, so you have to solder um, a couple of resistors in series in between these two, and you'll see that on the diagram. That's what those resistors do. Basically, this is all that's in there. And all this stuff on top really is, is just a transformer and a capacitor and a bridge rectifier. So actually, I could easily, this, which is a third of the size, and then you have this. The whole thing would only take up this much space. This thing is huge. You could easily fit all of this into a block this big. So you can easily fit inside, you know, uh, a children's lunch box or the skull like that guy did. So look at that video over to the right and see how he does it and then maybe you'll understand between what I just showed you and the links to the diagrams I'll post. Okay I'm going to show this. This is uh, pretty much like I said. Here you have your plug, your line in. One leg goes to the fuse, two amp fuse, then goes to the switch and then that continues on to the transformer. The other leg goes to ground, the green, and then the other brown leg goes straight to the transformer. On the other side of the transformer, one leg's positive, one leg's negative. This is a symbol for the bridge rectifier. It then comes out one leg positive, one leg negative. This is a another cap. This is the 3300, the big one I was telling you about. You want a, something like a 22 to 3300, the large capacitor. That then goes to your knob. Now this can either be a regulator or it can be the, the uh, real stat. The other leg continues along. Here's the second capacitor. I told you it breaks down from a large to the 100 and then on down. Now if you don't have the real stat, and you use a regulator, the potometer, like they show in this diagram, then that breaks down and here's a little resistor that goes in between the two legs. Now this only has a, a single, which makes it nice and easy. That's one 330 ohm resistor. Here's a little LED for a power light, and then that leg goes on to your uh, one leg will continue to the clip cord and the other one will continue to the pedal switch. And then uh, by looking at that stuff I just showed you, you'll see how you have to wire the two of them in between. This doesn't show a foot switch and a, you know, interrupting the clip cord wiring. But basically another thing that some people do, because this goes 33100, sometimes they'll also they'll put another one in line for like a 10 or like uh, that power supply had a, a 1 ohm or I mean a one microfarad capat right on the end uh, in between the uh, clip cord and the foot switch which were in series okay so there's that and I'll put the link to this on the video